Welcome back to the best of weekend scoreboard. For the first time in three years, the Celtics survived the first round of the NBA playoffs in 1991. They did it with Larry Bird practically in a wheelchair with back problems. And they did it without Dennis Johnson for the first time in eight years. Now, renovation has never been a major priority here at Boston Garden. But back on December 13, 1991, the Celtics decided to make a little addition to their personal Hall of Fame up in those rafters, raising DJ's number three to the chance of defense. It was an emotional night. There have been great players throughout the history of the NBA. We know all their names. But it is a rare player who is known by initials. We know him as DJ. Very proud. I think that was some DJ uh, career up right there. Very proud player. You know, he, he took took this game very seriously. You know, it wasn't wasn't just a job to him. You know, this this, this was uh, something that he really put his heart and soul into. Big shot in L.A. Uh, they win the ball game for us in the playoffs, and uh, that's that's the biggest thing I remember. They have a double sack, and Larry walks through the lane, coming to the right, and he gets the pass, goes into the lane, jump pass back out to D.J. D.J. throws on the top. It's gone, and no time left. It's all over. It is all over, and it's good by D.J. from the left side. It's all over. Boston wins the all important fourth game. DJ made so many big plays. Uh, um, he passed me the ball a lot. Uh, you know, he just. It's just amazing when a guy that shoots 44% can do with the ball in his hands at the end of the game when the game's on the line. Back out to DJ. They're going to have to hurry now, Danny. Back to DJ. He's going to take the shot. It's gone. It has got it. The three pointer. One second left on the clock. And when Larry Bird made that great steal against the Pistons, who made the basket that beat him? Now there's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ, he lays it in. Right up, one second left. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ laid it up and in. And I read today all the accolades about DJ. You know, I agree with them. They were all true. He didn't worry about stats. All he wanted to do was win. First of all, to the team, especially uh, to the older fellas, Robert, Larry, and Kevin, and uh, Chris for I do thank you very much for the gift, and I had a time, the time of my life and a pleasure playing with each and every one of you. Thank you very much. It was just a tremendous night for DJ. I was very happy to, for DJ, I was very happy to play with something like that, you know, and he acknowledged Robert and I and Larry. It was a special feeling to look back on all the things that we accomplished was really something. DJ was a pleasure playing with you. Having you as a teammate made our job a lot easier. And this award tonight is very deserving and appropriate ending to a great career. And we wish you the very best in the future. Thank you. Exactly, if that means I'm a legend or, you know, it puts a cap on a, as I think I probably said, it puts a cap on a real good ending for me. And, uh, 
I couldn't ask for no better ending to a story than this. I really couldn't have. Each and every basketball fan that enters these hallowed halls will forever remember Dennis Johnson's contribution to the Celtics tradition now. That jersey hanging in the rafters will assure that. It's a fitting tribute to his greatness. Frank Malicote will be back after these messages with a look back at the 1991 baseball season. Stay tuned.